Apart from the miraculous characteristic of the Quran, which we have looked into so far, it also has a mathematical miracle. An example of this is the numbers of repetitions of some of the words in the Quran. Some related words are surprisingly repeated the same number of times. Below are such words and the numbers of their repetitions in the Quran. The word day, yaum, is repeated 365 times in singular form, while its plural and dual forms, days, ayam, and yaumain, together are repeated 30 times. The number of repetitions of the word, month, shahad, is 12. The word payment or reward is repeated 117 times, while the expression forgiveness, muhfira, which is one of the basic moral principles of the Quran, is repeated exactly twice as many times. The number of times the words world, dunya, and hereafter, akhira, are repeated is also the same, 115. The statement of seven heavens, Saba'a Samawat, is repeated seven times. The creation of the heavens, Kalk'a Samawat, is also repeated seven times. The word faith, Iman, without genitive, is repeated 25 times throughout the Quran, as is also the word infidelity or covering over the truth, Kufr. The words paradise and hell are each repeated 77 times. The word Satan, Shaitan, is used in the Quran 88 times, as is the word angels, Malaika. The word Zakah is repeated 32 times, while the number of repetitions of the word blessing, Baraka, is also 32. The words man and woman are also employed equally, 23 times. Sun, Shams, and Light, Nur, both appear 33 times in the Qur'an. In counting the word light, only the simple forms of the words were included. The expression, the righteous, Al-Abrar, is used six times, but the wicked, Al-Fujar, is used half as much, i.e. three times. Human being is used 65 times. The sum of the number of mentions of the stages of man's creation is the same, i.e., Human being, 65, soil, turab, 17, drop of sperm, nutfah, 12, embryo, alak, 6, half-formed lump of flesh, mudgah, 3, bone, idham, 15, flesh, lahm, 12. The word land appears 13 times in the Quran, and the word sea, 32 times giving a total of 45 references. If we divide that number by that of the number of references to the land, we arrive at the figure 28.88888888889%. The number of total references to land and sea, 45, divided by the number of references to the sea in the Quran, 32, is 71.11111111111%. Extraordinarily, these figures represent the exact proportions of land and sea on the earth today. Every piece of information shows us an apparent fact. The Qur'an is such a book that all the news related in it has proved to be true, and facts that no one could ever have known at the time were announced in its verses. Certainly this proves clear evidence that the Qur'an is not the word of man. The Qur'an is the word of God, the originator of everything, the Almighty who encompasses everything with his knowledge. In a verse, God remarks on the Quran.
If it had been from other than God, they would have found many inconsistencies in it. Not only are there no inconsistencies in the Quran, every piece of information it contains reveals the miracle of this divine book more and more each day. What falls to man is to hold fast to this divine book revealed by God and receive it as his one and only guide. In one of the verses, God tells us the following. And this is a book we have sent down and blessed. So follow it and have fear of God so that hopefully you will gain mercy. This film is based on Harun Yahya's book, The Miracles of the Quran.